Kalata from Let's Speak English. Now, there are plenty of English words that confuse you because they look similar. They even sound similar. So it's easy to make spellings and vocabulary mistakes. Well, this lesson will be useful if you are learning English as a second language. So in this lesson, I'm going to share some pairs of words that are often confused because they look similar and they sound similar. Words like advise and advise, allowed and allowed, principle, principle. Are you confused? Well, don't worry about it. We are going to fix these problems right here and right now. Let's get started with the first set of words, first pair of words allowed and allowed so allowed is an adverb which means to speak out loud I'm speaking out loud I'm speaking out aloud right now let me get that right I'm speaking aloud right now whereas allowed is the past tense of the verb allow but it's also an adjective that shows permission you're allowed to bring a small bag with you. Well, I'm going to use both these words in a single sentence. You're not allowed to speak aloud. Well, I would like you to guess which words I've used where. Moving to the next pair of words, compliment and compliment. Now, both these words are pronounced exactly in the same way, but Compliment with an E is a verb and it is used to show that something goes well with something else when it adds or improves something else. An example, that hat really complements the dress you're wearing. They look good together. Compliment with an I is the one that you probably are most familiar with. It's a noun that we use when you say something nice to someone. You pay someone a compliment. So I want to compliment you on your performance. You did an awesome job. Now I'm going to use both these words in a single sentence. Though, it, though I don't often compliment, though I don't often give compliments, those shoes really compliment your outfit. Well, Moving on to the next set of words, all together and all together. Now these words are pronounced exactly the same way, but you're focusing on spellings here. We have got two words versus one. All together as in two words means all in the same place at one time. For example, let's meet at the roller coaster at 12 p.m. We want to ride it all together whereas all together as in single word is an adverb and it means completely for example I'm a vegetarian now I have stopped eating meat altogether now altogether can also be used to summarize a point for example altogether I think it's a good decision for the company so that's how we use these words. Coming to the next pair of words, desert and desert. So there's a slight pronunciation difference here and it's simply a matter of syllable stress. In desert, the stressed syllable is the first syllable. In desert, the second syllable is the stressed syllable. Both these words are nouns. Now, desert, is an area of land that doesn't have much water. So, desert is, of course, cakes, ice creams and sweets. It's a meal that follows the male meal, like a dinner or even a lunch. So, if you don't finish your dinner, you won't get your dessert. Now, dessert is also a verb and it is spelled D-E-S-E-R-T which means to abandon or to leave. The boy deserted his friend. 
that's an example for the word moving on to the next pair of words principal and principal now these two words used to confuse me a lot as a kid principal is a noun and also an adjective so as a noun it is the head of a school but principal can also mean important or significant when it's used as an adjective so our principal concern is the safety of children so principal here means most important i have a meeting with the school principal this afternoon coming to the other principal is also a noun but it means it's the truth a law of rule that shapes how something is done for example there are three main environmental principles that shaped this project so that's how these two words are used moving to the next set of words advise and advice so can you hear the difference in the pronunciation between these two words they are very similar advise and advice the difference is in the final consonant sound very slight difference advice with a sound is a noun it's when your friend has a problem and you offer them a suggestions suggestion about how to solve the problem or what they need to do to fix it it's a noun and it's an uncountable noun at that so it's always advice and not advices this is a very important point to note for example hey can i ask you for your advice now the other word advise is a verb and it's the action of recommending or suggesting something to someone else usually because you had some experience dealing with that situation before so i need someone to advise me on the subject i need to complete for my course so that's how we use these two words the next set of words are accept and accept okay so what about these two words they are very similar but there's a tiny tiny difference in the pronunciation in the first vowel sound very slight difference uh, you uh, all you can almost hardly hear the difference accept is a verb and it describes the action of agreeing to receive something or to do something you need to accept the terms and conditions whereas accept is a conjunction or a preposition sometimes and it means not including so i walk the dog every day except on tuesdays because i work late so with that i come to the end of this session and i hope you found that useful if you have liked this video please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to my channel let's speak english